everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome today's reaction is going to be somebody i haven't reacted to in a long time i thoroughly enjoyed all his ill minds and everything that he had to say this is if you haven't guessed already by uh, by what i've just said this is a reaction to hopsin and this is for his track just the audio because there is no music video that i can see this is for his track Hotel in Sydney from, I presume the album is called No Shame. It's got no shame in brackets in the title and it's a picture of an album cover, I think, by the looks of it. So I'm assuming that's what the album is called. But the track is called Hotel in Sydney. And I've had a few people ask me to react to this one and obviously more hops in in general, which will be coming up very, very soon on this channel. So stay tuned for that and keep coming back. So, without further ado, I'm excited to see what Hopsin has for us. <laughs> so, let's get into the video. Here we go. Are you guys letting me go now? Yeah, I'm afraid not, you fucking dog of a cunt. Yeah. Let's go, dickhead. Officer, you said I was only gonna be here for 30 minutes. It's been five hours, man. What's yeah, going on? shut your fucking mouth, you <sighs> fuck with for I fucking bash ya. What the fuck are you talking about? Go inside, about? you fucking wombat. Man, this is stupid. Go on, sit down. Uh, now, your missus claims you assaulted her. <laughs> Bloody oath, mate. Why'd you fucking beat her? Man, I didn't fucking beat her. Listen, I'm telling you. I got her the engagement ring that she liked, booked a new flight to come to Sydney just to see her start a new life. Man, she's 20 weeks pregnant, and I was trying to do right for us, a family, the kid, but maybe I was too nice. My homie texted me a picture, and I just burst into anger with my girl in a bed with a personal trainer. I text my homie like, yo, where you find this? He said, Snapchat, bro. It's all on my timeline, shit. I swear it struck a fucking nerve in my chest. I looked at my girl and said, get a paternity test. She said, no. Don't you get all worked and upset. I only slept in his bed right after work just to rest. I said, what? You expect me to believe that? Ha, all right, yeah, I'll relax. Guess it doesn't seem bad. My girlfriend's with a buff nigga getting teabagged. Officer, correct me if I'm wrong, but she needed her head detached. I said, bitch, I can't believe this shit. Does he know you're pregnant? Is that his kid? Look how big my headache is. This whole time y'all having sex and shit. What type of nigga would fuck a pregnant chick? I said, let's get this paternity test. I'm not kidding, bitch. She said, no, I'm not getting it. Officer, I ain't seen her in months. I couldn't trust the lying whore. Plus, she told me she slept with this guy before. Whoa. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, there's some pretty colourful language in here. <laughs> um, which well, don't get me wrong, I'm not a prude. I can swear like the best of them, but whoa, this straight away, straight off the bat, that was that was in there. He jumped right in with the curse words. Oh, okay. Uh, this is some heavy stuff because I'm assuming that this is kind of all about maybe how it went down with his ex the mother of his son because i believe that he's got a got a son with somebody and they live somewhere else um whoa okay um yeah apparently there's been issues there sort of trying to get access or visitation with with his son and he hasn't been able to see him and i do understand since i think i did a reaction video to that i can't remember what the song was now but what the title of it was but from what i gather i think he has now seen his son i, I think a number of times so he's back in contact with him which is which is a good thing um, but wow, this is some heavy stuff. Um, I'm assuming this is kind of almost slightly to the truth of how it went down between them, what actually happened between them, um, and how they split, why they split. Uh, whoa, okay. And if it's not, this is still heavy stuff. <laughs> okay, um, jeepers. Right, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Oh, okay. First impressions, this is heavy, this is deep. Okay. Oh. I said, right. let's get this paternity test. I'm not kidding, bitch. She said, no, I'm not getting it. Officer, I ain't seen her in months. I couldn't trust the lying whore. Plus, she told me she slept with this guy before. And then I said, you know what? Forget it. It's all good. Never mind. Shit was making my blood pressure high. I love her unconditionally, you know? I can't pretend I ain't never lie. For the moment, I guess I let her slide. 
She said, if you don't want to take care of this kid, Marcus, then say so. I said, wait, no, it's mine too. I can't go. How you gonna support this kid without me? You don't make dough. She said, ha ha ha, I make loads. She had six grand cash. I said, but she was broke two weeks ago. How you making tips that fast? She said, I bartend. I made it all in tips, ha ha. I said, girl, you must take me as a big jackass. I'm like, please. We both know money is hard to come by. Her bullshit might fly over the heads of some guys. Officer, she's always telling dumb lies. I've known her for six years, and she hasn't lifted a finger one time. I said, where'd you get the cash from? She said, I bartend, duh, from tips. I'm a waitress. I said, where'd you get the cash from? She started stuttering like, uh, Marcus, uh, wait, just I said, where'd you get the cash from? She said, okay, okay, I tell you, just promise me you won't get mad I'm like, baby, where'd you get the cash from? She said, I work at a strip club, it's how I made the six grand I said, whoa, no, wow. no! I fell down in tears, my heart broke, I turned cold I ain't want the girl that I'm in love with doing whole shit if she needed cash, I would've loaned it, and she knows it. They won't let me get a refund on this $20,000 ring. Fuck, my head hurts, I need some ibuprofen. Yeah, Mr. Hobson, you need a minute. Um, may I have some water, please? I know where he's at all. I don't mean to cry and get emotional, but all this just bothers me. Yeah, it's all right, you good. Yeah, here you go, mate. Thanks. Do you know, I love, before I carry on again, I, I love the whole concept of this, although obviously there's no visual to go with it. I love the fact that it's kind of almost, it sounds like he's in a police station now, like something's gone down, something serious has gone down. Even this is, if this is not true and this is not what really happened, I don't know for sure. I'm just assuming I know that there's been issues with his ex and, and him trying to see his son and things like that. But So I'm assuming that in part this is kind of autobiographical, like it actually happened. Um, but you know, it's, he's, it's the concept that he's in like a police station, he's being questioned. So something's obviously gone down and he's basically telling the police officers what happened, you know, the, the history behind it, why he's freaked out, why this big altercation has gone on and, and stuff. And it, like he's given a statement. Um, I, I love it. I, I love it. How it's, how he's worded it lyrically. It's, it's brilliant. Um, but it's also kind of, it's heavy, but it's also making me quite sad because I'm thinking if this is actually something that's actually gone on for real, this is kind of, I kind of to a degree get why he reacted in such a bad way. Like you're hearing this for the first time about your girlfriend, about your partner, the mother of potentially your child, if you know it, it, it was his child she's pregnant and I mean that must hurt that is gonna hurt anybody you're finding all this stuff out now I mean it, it's it's kind of heartfelt it's quite emotional it's quite deep it's very heavy um, and I love the, but I love the fact that he's done it in sort of like this police station setting where he's giving a statement and he's being questioned and he's just giving them information about the, the the past events and stuff and how it all led to where it's led to it's that's really clever I, I love it it's it's kind of like something that I'm really sort of almost like really invested in <laughs> I feel really wrapped up in it like wow okay this is just insane especially if this is real and this actually actually happened um okay let's carry on I wasn't me no more I looked her in the eyes and straight told her Or just say to her I need you to tell me where the strip club's at Or this family we about to have is over I said, tell me where it's at She said, no I said, you about to make me mad She said, so? I said, bitch, you better panic and run The damage is done You doing this four months away from having my son? Oh! I told her I would always have her back I forgave her after all the careless acts I had one question and she couldn't share the facts The strip club, how come she couldn't tell me where it's at? Who the fuck she fucking in there? Who's dick she sucking in there? Shaking the fucking butt in the air. It's like we argued for a thousand fucking hours. I'm annoyed and I was at the point where something was about to get destroyed. I grabbed a purse, threw that shit across the room. I fucking launched it too. It was filled with makeup kits and all of her jewels. I blacked out and she said, what the fuck is wrong with you? She got up out the bed to get it. I pushed her ass back in it. 
Said we still talking, bitch. You and I ain't finished. Now, the strip club, where is it? Wow. Bitch, where the fuck is it? I said, you know what? Fuck it. Awesome, fine. In the process of all this drama, I lost my mind. I felt lost and blind. The gym trainer, the strip club, the ring, the baby. She really crossed the line. And then I finally came down and all the madness was finished. Then she invited me to dinner with the family in Penrith. I said, I ain't going with you. You can leave now. I need to stay in this hotel room and figure some things out. Officer, I know you ain't gonna sympathize. I don't approve of any man putting hands on his girlfriend or wife, especially when she's pregnant with his kid inside. I honestly feel like I wasn't in the wrong, but still I wasn't in the right. Ask her. She ain't got no bruises on her. I'm human. There's only so much that a dude can conquer. She knew that her actions reflected true dishonor and tried to cover it, saying I'm an abusive monster that's bullshit. <laughs> and that fast, poof, all of her wrongs are in the past. Cool. She's just the innocent white girl, and I'm the black guy who always gets mad. True. I know y'all about to make it hard for me to get back in Australia, man. This shit is fucking sad, dude. I still don't know if this baby is mine or not. So when he's born, who's gonna be the fucking dad? You? <laughs> wow. Whoa, this is heavy. Wow, that was something. Whew. I, I mean, I felt, felt anxiety listening to that. That's just, you know, hearing it all unfold. Like I say, if that is actually something that went down for real, like that is, that is actually true, it's based on, on fact on truth, real events. That is insane. Whew. I can kind of see why there was such a big issue there with regards to him being able to see his son and um, just all the amniosity between him and his, his ex. And there's a lot of history there. There's a lot of stuff that went down, not great stuff that went down. Um, wow. Okay, that's that. Uh, yeah, I'll probably have to listen to it again after this reaction video, just to kind of take that in because that is, like I said, that is some deep stuff. That's some heavy stuff. Um, if that's really what went down between them, Oof, and that's the whole history behind it. Jeepers! No wonder why the guy is like, like pretty hostile when it comes comes to his ex and and the whole situation there and wow I can't blame him if she has done all those things behind his back and then to find all that out all in one go just one thing after another after another that's that's a lot to take like you know like he like he says you know you don't condone it you know the idea of hitting on somebody especially a woman especially a pregnant woman but he, I mean he, he made a good point he was about I wasn't in the wrong but I wasn't in the right so what he did was wrong but it doesn't mean that he's ever done that before or that you know he's guilty of what she's obviously accusing him of being abusive throughout their whole relationship and, and things like that it could have just been a one-time thing um and it's, I guess it's all down to obviously evidence and, you know, what people want to believe and, and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty heavy stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, he made the point about being human. There's only so much a man can take. Um, and that's a lot to try and take in all at the same time. That's no wonder why he kind of freaked out a bit. Um, doesn't make it right, but I can kind of see, I can understand. <laughs> wow, poor guy. Um, to have that lot loaded on him. <laughs> yeah, I can understand the hostility. <laughs> this was, yeah, this was, this was heavy. I'm going to have to go back and listen to this again, um, just to really take it all in. But um, I, I thought this was very clever the way it was done, as I said, in a police station setting and, and, and just the way the, the dialogue went, like it, it was sort of like he was giving a statement, um, to the police about, about things that happened and, 
yeah it was very very clever very brilliantly worded it was very clear concise you know from his point of view from his perspective another excellent performance from Hopson um, which I thoroughly enjoyed and I'm really looking forward to getting into more Hopson and just sort of seeing you know older stuff as well as kind of slightly more recent stuff or newer stuff hopefully in the weeks and months to come but yeah this was <laughs> this was pretty deep um, I mean I'm glad I reacted to it because it kind of gives me a little bit more background as well into what kind of went on with regards to his ex and, and the whole thing with his son and stuff like that and the issues that he's had there so yeah it was informative but heavy <laughs> yeah I kind of get I get get it now some of the hostility <laughs> that he has <laughs> but yeah I loved it it was yeah as far as that goes it was it was brilliant I'm glad I reacted to this um, it's sort of like been on my list for a while and yeah finally got around to seeing it <laughs> anyway if you love this too please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to keep up with more hops and reactions and reaction from other artists that I will be doing um, in the coming weeks I'm gonna go and digest this again <laughs> and try and take this all in and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.